Hello students, this is your geography lesson. Today we are going to study about minerals. This is unit number 5, mineral resources. So we start our lesson. What are minerals? Students, minerals are substances that are dug up from the ground or from quarries. Some are extremely valuable such as gold, silver, uranium, and platinum. But very few countries have all or any of these. Oil too is very valuable in the modern world, and some countries, especially in West Asia, have large amounts. Iron and other metal ores are fairly valuable, and they are a basic need for industry. Marble, limestone, salt, and other rocks are not as valuable as the other minerals. But Pakistan has very large amounts of them. When we talk about the minerals, mineral resources can be classified into two types, metallic and non-metallic. Metallic ores are cut or blasted from surrounding rock. The ore is crushed and the worthless rock removed. The pure metal can be separated by heating. Mineral resources are non-renewable, although many can be recycled and used again. Though we obtained most minerals from quarries and mines, the seabed and seawater are also rich in minerals. Metallic minerals are those that are made up of metal compound and resemble a metal, for example, iron ore, copper, chromite, bauxite. Non-metallic. Non-metallic minerals include gypsum, rock salt, marble, clay, and limestone. Metallic and non-metallic minerals have some basic differences that can be identify as metallic minerals economically more valuable. On the other hand, non-metallic minerals are economically less valuable. Except for the power sources, for example, oil, coal, natural gas. Metallic minerals are generally hard, tough and shiny. On the other hand, non-metallic minerals are softer, rough and may not shine. Metallic minerals can change shape without breaking and non-metallic minerals break away when shape is changed. Metallic minerals can be stretched and compressed. Non-metallic minerals cannot be stretched or compressed. Metallic minerals are good thermal and electrical conductors. And uh, non-metallic minerals are poor thermal and electrical conductors. Metallic minerals are more reactive and water uh, with water and acid. And non-metallic minerals are less reactive with water and acid. Now, discuss about the basic minerals. Iron ore. Iron ore has been found in various areas of our country. The total reserves of iron ore deposits are estimated up to March 2005 to 2006 to be about over 420 million tons. The following are the main centers of iron ore deposits in our country. Deposits of Kalabagh, District, Miawali, Punjab. Iron ore deposits have been found in areas of salt range. These are considered as the largest deposits of iron ore in Pakistan. But here, the ore is of low grade, having 30% to 35% of iron content. The iron ore deposits here are estimated about 300 million tons. Deposits near Chinyot in Punjab. Recently, a huge deposit of goods quality of iron ore has been discovered near Chinyot in Punjab. Deposits of Chilgazi, District Balochistan. 
some high grade iron ore deposits have been found in Chilagazi in district Chai of Balochistan province. The ore deposits contain about 55% of iron content. These reserves are estimated to be over 3 million tons. Besides here, some low-grade iron ore deposits having 25% to 35% or 30% content have also been found. The estimate of total reserve of these areas are about 20 million tons. Few iron ore deposits have also found at Khuzdar, Ziarat and Nukandi in the province of Balochistan. Chromite Chromite is also an important mineral of our country. It is used for making stainless steel, high speed tools and precious instruments and dyes and in photography. A few years back we exported all the production of our chromite to foreign countries but nowadays we are using our chromite in Pakistan steel mills near Karachi. Huge deposits of chromite are found at Muslim Bagh in Zob Valley of Balochistan. The mines of Jan Turgar and Khanzoi rank at the top. Besides these, some chromite deposits have also been found in area of Chai and Haran district. A few deposits of chromite have also appeared in Marakan and Muhammad agencies of NWFP. Rock salt Salt is being used in our country from ancient times. Pakistan has vast deposits of salt. The salt range had been discovered before the Mughal period. There is reference of salt mines in Ane. Akbari. The salt deposits of our country are considered as one of the largest salt deposits in the world. These deposits begins from the western bank of Jhelum up to the north width of, two, uh, of 600 to 100 miles and their depth reaches up to 275 feet. The following are the main salt mines of our country. Kiora Mines. These are the oldest salt mines of our country. Here the depth of these mines reaches up to 60 feet. Kiora has a railway link with Makarwal, a branch line of Pakistan Railway. These are the important salt mines of district Jehlam in Punjab. Here the present production is about 0.4 million tons. Warsha District Khushab Punjab Mines These mines are situated at Warsha Warsha District Khushab in the province of Punjab. It lies about 10 miles northwest of Gunjal Railway Station. The depth of the mines goes up to 50 feet. The mines have average annual salt production of about 50,000 tons. Kalabagh District Miawali, Punjab Mines A small amount of salt is found near Kalabagh. The production being low, these are less in importance. Gypsum Gypsum is also an important mineral of our country. It is used for the manufacturing of cement, plaster of Paris, fertilizers and in various other industries. It is also used to regain the fertility of soil in waterlogged and salinity areas. Gypsum in our country is found in a large quantity. Mia Wali, Jhelum, Dera Ghazi Khan in Punjab, Quetta and CB in Balochistan, Kuhat in NWFP are the main producers, but some quantity of gypsum 
is also found in Bahawalpur, Punjab, Dadu and Sangar districts. In Sindh, Dera Ismail Khan in NWFP. The total reserves of gypsum found in our country are estimated at about 350 million tons. Magnesite This ore is also used as raw material for the manufacturing of stainless steel. Its deposits have been found at Nasai in district Zob of Balochistan and at Sherwan in district of Aptabad. The production or the production is being taken from the mines of Zob area. The total reserves of magnesite in our country are estimated at about 0.13 million tons. Sulfur Sulfur is also used as a raw material in various industries such as chemicals and matches etc. Its deposits have been found in found at extinct Volcano Kohe Sultan in Chari, districts of Balochistan province. Besides, some sulfur deposits have also been found at Sani, district Kachi of Balochistan province. The sulfur reserves are estimated to be about 0.8 million tons. We are not self-sufficient in our requirements of sulfur and we have to import a large quantity of sulfur from foreign countries. Copper Copper is also considered an important mineral of modern age. It is being used in electric goods, especially in the manufacturing of copper wires. It was used for making coins and domestic utensils in the past. Its importance is significant due to its increasing demand. The deposits of copper have been found at Sandik and Amuri in Chari districts of Balochistan province. Sandik deposits are estimated to be 4 to 12 million tons. At present, copper is not being extracted commercially in our country. It is hoped that within a few years, we shall be able to produce copper in sufficient quantity with foreign collaboration. Collaboration China Clay the deposits of China clay have been found at Shah Dairy District, Sawat and Timargar near Deez Deer in NWFP. The reserves of China clay are estimated to be about 4.5 million tons. A ceramic industry has been established at Sawat which is using about 4,800 tons of China clay every year. We are not self-sufficient in our requirements of China clay and we have to import a large amount of China clay from other countries. Limestone A large number of limestone deposits are found in various areas of our country. It is used for various industries especially in cement manufacturing. The deposits of limestone are at Daud Khel, Wah Punjab, Rori, Hyderabad and Karachi. Cement industries have been established at these places. Problems of Mining Industry The deforestation can be observed. Land is deformed. Pits and holes like depressions are formed which are not filled after extraction leading the water to collect making water troughs. The mineral extraction results in the vibration due to blasting noise forming cracks in the land. Rock and soil piles up everywhere. The land is eroded. 
dust can be observed everywhere the advantages of extraction of mineral resources in pakistan The extraction of mineral resources can help in industrial development as raw material can be easily provided it can lead to more trade increasing exports and imports it will lead to employment opportunities the multinational companies will be attracted for investment infrastructure or as roads railway water and gas supply electricity and communication set up will develop leading to economic growth but for all this government would need more capital skilled people to work Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.